Hi ladies and gents, Pond here with another video for Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. Today it's Thursday, we're back on the road to C25 and in our road to C25 castle we do actually have, I have accumulated 10 super tickets um, just mainly through completing, getting third chests on the daily Clash of Province reward. So 10 super tickets, we've got a chance for a fourth orange hero in the account. Obviously we already have Orochi, Jewel Blades and Hurricane. So that's literally a nice front, uh, front, middle and back row combo. Pretty much any orange hero will be welcome at this point. So, um, I, you know, I'm not going to be overly picky. I'm working to complete my class legion research as quickly as I can. Um, but it's going to be a while. It's It costs quite a lot of resources to finish those last sections and... Um, I'm only, what, 54%? Yeah, 54% through. So it's going to be a while before I can actually slot another hero in there. Potentially, I could do the second hero slot on my Legion 1. Uh, so that's something I'll need to think about. But I've just activated my 100% ticket. We're on the hour where you've got the different combinations um, available to you. So for gaining points, whether that's from um, recruiting or um, exchanging wisdom medals, using wisdom medals, upgrading your hero skills, etc. Unlocking skills, up upgrading their um, experience. So we've got 10 super tickets. I've got 46 advanced recruits. So I can easily actually complete the third chest on this hourly reward as well. Uh, so let's get straight into the 10 tickets and see what if we get anything. No season hero, unfortunately. <laughs> and mm, Demon Spear. Okay. Foot, <clears throat> footman hero. Not. Well, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm just going to pair her with um, cavalry anyway. So I'm only using cavalry in this account because they're higher load capacity for gathering. Um, but that is a good start. You know, you don't always get an orange hero from tickets and i'm already up to 2.46 million on the hourly as well and nearly 6 million on the daily so we should easily well we'll easily hit third chests on both uh, so let's do a bit more recruitment with those purple tickets now i'm not going to use all of them because i will save some for next week because uh, it will make it easier for me to get chests at that point um oh, no not even any purple that's annoying so let's just do one more lot of 10 and then that should give me about 30 for next 30 or more for next week. One purple there, that's good. And then we could exchange a couple of medals down here in the arena, I guess. I've got this orange medal ready to, un that's free at least so I can unlock a hero's fifth skill, I guess, if I want to. can only exchange seven medals in the arena. So I'm going to exchange purples. Again, I've got well, I've got quite a few, haven't I? So we exchange these up, and that's all I can do. Oh, that's all the gold I've got, actually, isn't it? I need to pop up some gold. 14.7 million gold. Okay, that's all right. I've got eight mints now, so I'm generating a reasonable amount of gold, and I'm, I'm working on upgrading this eighth mint at the moment. All the other mints are at least um, level 15 or level 16, so they are doing decent amounts of uh, generation for the gold back quickly into the arena let's just get rid of that and we'll just do a blue medal as well okay oh we've hit a chest and there we go we've we've got the third hourly chest and for the daily i need 1.5 million so i'm going to wait I'll probably wait until another hour, different hour, so I can get some points on that hour, either the first or second chest. It's important to try and um, maximize the returns from the consumables that you're using each time. So yeah, I won't just waste uh, more items that could get me hourly rewards points now. Um, as you'll know, if you saw my video on Tuesday, I did upgrade the account to level 20. Um, so I'm really pushing as much as I can. Currently, I've got two more resource um, storages upgrades on the go, both for marble and iron. So that cost me a lot of lumber. I've only got, I'm down to 7.7 .7 million lumber. My marble as well took a massive hit. I've only got three, well, I've got about 5 million now. 
still pushing on my national quest as well. So I've got um, what I'm up to level 68 agricultural scholar. So just pushing on through uh, the class manual, trying to get as many upgrades as I can. Ultimately, you want to be getting down to um, this one here more work, more gain two. That will give you an extra two trips two national quests a day but that's going to be obviously quite far off at this at this rate um other things well again i've just been pushing the upgrades in an even manner in terms of my resource tiles and now just the requirements for this level 21 upgrade you know 28 million iron currently my storage is less than half of that i'm get, and i'm going to need to really produce a lot of lumber because every iron upgrade requires lumber. That last upgrade required 10 mi For this current upgrade, it required 10 million lumber. So it's going to be a big, big push. Level 20 to 21 is particularly difficult, I have to say. Um, it is very challenging just because you have so many demands on your resources. Even just, you know, if I wanted to... Up I've been upgrading my iron mines as much as I can. Uh, I've got a couple at level 18 now. I probably won't push them beyond that because every time I'm upgrading an iron mine, it costs me a million food and a quarter of a million gold, pretty much. I've got 14 million food, but I'm not overflowing with it. And um, I need, to, what was it? Yeah, I need 19 million for an upgrade. So it's when you kind of reach this levels, it's very difficult to balance your resources. Currently, my account is... Um, just over close to Zeus's hive here. And what I really want to do is just bring it up over here. Here we go. I wanna, I'm want i gonna bring it up over here and just put it next to Pond Farm 3 eventually so that um, I can be in a situation where currently I'm in bar with this account. So I would be able to raid my bow accounts, uh, the farms. Uh, and I think that's where I'm gonna be. but. In terms, again, it's going to be challenging. So I'm actually pushing to upgrade those farms as well, even though they're C24, C23. Um, I am pushing to upgrade them now. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, there's quite a lot going on, as you say. But um, road to C25, it's going nicely. I think we're six weeks in now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is week. This is the sixth week. So um, pretty happy with how it's all going. And um, as I say, I'll hopefully be using resources to push the next five up. Uh, level upgrades if i can uh, one other quick point i have been upgrading the farmers guild it's at level 10 now because the higher you upgrade it the better the bountiful harvest income is so you get this every 12 hours and you can see i'm getting okay amounts from it each um each time so after use instantly obtain 1.9 hours worth of resources so again the higher the higher your um resource buildings are the more you'll get from this from this reward as well so those, that's it's it's a win-win situation in, in that regard um upgrading your resources and upgrading this uh, so there we go guys that is everything i wanted to talk about on this very quick road to c25 recruitment video i hope you've enjoyed the video and you're enjoying the series if you are why not click on that link uh, that why not click on that like and um, if you haven't already um, why not think about clicking on that subscribe and ringing the bell so you can get notifications whenever I'm dropping videos on the channel, which is daily. I'm covering all kinds of content regarding developing your castles, battles, uh, recruitment, Eden, um, Clash of Province uh, tactics, like anything and everything I try and cover. So um, that would be really appreciated. If you can share my channel in your Alliance chat, province chat, and through Line, WhatsApp, Viber, Discord, whatever you use to communicate with your fellow players in the game, that would also be much appreciated. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.